I stopped using this popular vitamin C serum after two weeks and here are my results. Before I continue this video, I just want to say this is my personal user experience and personal opinion about this brand. Now, what I felt, what I thought is my personal opinion and not a bash on the brand, not a discouragement for anybody using this brand. This was just my personal opinion and personal experience. I am remote. Oh my God. Hyaluronic acid. Oh, that is going to be a breeze. So this is the Roshin Vitamin C Serum or Roshan or Roshun. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it is said to contain 20% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Now a little backstory. I got this vitamin C serum um, some weeks ago because it's affordable. It's readily available almost everywhere. Um, it is popular on YouTube, popular on TikTok. So many videos recommending it. So I wanted to try it. It also claims to have alpha butene, and alpha butene is great in fading hyperpigmentation. And as you know, I have dark spots left over from my acne. So I was like, okay, let me get it. It is packaged in a brown amber bottle. The serum is clear. It's a bit viscous it is lightweight so why did i stop it after two weeks since it has vitamin c which is good for brightening the skin and alpha albutin which will help with my dark spots and also hyaluronic acid which is supposed to help with hydrating the skin and plumping the skin now i stopped it because i did not believe the claims that the manufacturer said there were so many lies that i did not just like now number one it claims it has hyaluronic acid when i checked the ingredients list i do not see anything like that i do not see sodium hyalu sodium hyaluronate i do not see hyaluronic acid in the ingredient list second it claims it has green tea I checked the ingredient list and I did not see anything like green tea. Green tea, the botanical name of green tea, most green tea species, is Camellia sinensis or Camellia. The genus is Camellia, then the species will be anything. But I did not see any Camellia inside. Now, it also claims it has witch hazel water. I checked the ingredient list. I did not see anything like witch hazel. The botanical name for which is especially the genus part because it has different species is hamamelis i'd not see anything like that in the ingredient list also there was a grammatical error with the spelling of the witch is which is the witch part is a witch w-i-t-c-h they wrote w-i-t-h now you can say this is a chinese brand designed by korea the materials gotten from USA, that's what they wrote on the bottle, that's what they wrote on the pack. Um, so um, maybe they are not really like speaking English. It's But on the package, there are two languages, English and Arabic. So it was designed for the international market. Now I have worked in two pharmaceutical cosmetic uh, manufacturing companies before. I've worked in EMSO in Nigeria, EMSO Pharmaceutical Company in Nigeria. And I've worked at Boots Contract Manufacturing, Nottingham, UK. Now I know the amount of scrutiny and um, efforts that is put in labels, packaging and the rest. Before a label is mass produced, it is checked, especially if you are producing it for the international market. It is checked properly. There's not supposed to be any grammatical error. There's not supposed to be anything that would cause problems. If the label has issues, it will be returned to the manufacturer. They will correct it. If a lot of bottles have been um, pasted with the label, with the wrong label, or the label that is not right, um, it will be removed. If it cannot be removed, the bottles that have been made would either be given to staff free of charge or sold at discounted rate. So they will not push out bottles or labels that have mistake, which is one of the things that gave me uh, what's going on. So seeing as some of the claims that the 
manufacturer said on the package was not on the ingredient list gave me kind of worry that i was like am i sure what they said is inside is inside i was using it because of the vitamin c i was using it because of the alpha albutin that they claimed was inside now on the ingredient list um the vitamin c compound that is inside is sodium ascorbate now they said it's 20 percent now i might give them the benefit of that that is actually 20 percent because on the ingredient list it is the third um item on the list and the higher the item on the list is the more it is in need the more quantity or the more yeah the more quantities in the um, product so number one is water water definitely this is a water-based and water soluble um serum so water would definitely be a large part of the serum now the second one is the second ingredient on the list is butylene glycol and the third is the sodium ascorbate so possibly it's a possibility that it's 20 percent so i'll give them that now the fact that they said green tea hyaluronic acid which azul is in this and it's not listed on the ingredient list is supposed to be listed on the ingredient list no matter how you put it as special claim or whatever now there are other things in the ingredient list that are also good Pana there's panax ginseng there's tocopherol which is vitamin e there's more berry extract and other things but the fact that they claimed something was inside and it was not inside made me really doubt maybe maybe with the alpha albutin and the vitamin c is not inside this and another thing is when i was looking online i saw different types of this stuff and i'm going to show you it different label different i don't even know what's going on maybe they change the label later i don't know i'm not so sure also i saw another brand with a similar package similar label it's really weird even if they're sister companies they will not use the same exact label i know that for sure um so when i just looked at all that i was like no 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 i don't want to use anything on my skin because my skin is really problematic any small thing can just trigger um acne breakout so i just i had to I had to dump it i'm sorry i know a lot of people have used this and they claim it does well for them it might be a placebo effect it might actually be doing well for them but with what i know i know that if i use this thing there's a possibility it will not do well for me because i've already analyzed everything and i don't trust this brand now the, this is the second vitamin c serum i'll be using i have other brands but this is the second one I've been using. I've been using Face Fact for a long time. I've been using the vitamin C serum from Face Facts UK for a long time. And that's what I've been using. I just wanted to try this because it's affordable and everybody keeps talking about it on YouTube and TikTok. But I had to stop using it on my face because once I just analyzed everything, I was like, I don't trust the brand. I don't trust the claims of the brand. So using it would uh, using it might cause a lot of problem for me now this is for me because i know some things and i know my skin and i know what can happen if i continue to use it now another person like i said people have used it and they claim it's the best thing they claim is the most affordable and the best um vitamin c serum there's so many people that have used that and said that you can check the reviews online any which way like i said this is my user experience people have used it and they have said great things about it but this is my own user opinion user experience based on all that i know and based on my skin type now I don't know if there's anybody out there that thinks differently about this brand please let me know your opinion in the comment section and if you've also had issues with this brand or this vitamin c serum rider 
please let me know in the comment section um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like videos such as this and you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye